In round three, our experts will answer two questions for $5 a piece. And while they're thinking, their opponents will be betting on whether they'll answer the question correctly. If they guess correctly, they'll make just as much money as the expert answering the question. Let's start with the player with the lowest score. That's currently Tim. Aww. Now, Tim, you don't despair. <laughs> Bear in mind, any question at this point with $5 on the line for each could put you in the lead. What three aliases does Mal's wife use when she marries three different men? Now, remember, you are obligated to use all 10 seconds, giving your opponents a chance to read you. They're looking at the slight ticks in your cheeks. He's like not moving. The blush. No. I'm sorry. Do you play There's a lot no of poker? Oh. Huh? Let's hear an answer. Saffron, mm -hmm. Yolanda, and Bridget. Those are all three correct, and so that gives you five dollars. And now let's see. Oh, a lot of faith. A lot, lot of love faith. coming from your expert opponents. But Sorry. you should feel better. You get the five dollars, oh, and they do not. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we are going to move on to Whitney. Your first question of round three. What song was often played when Hideki Matsui would come to bat at Yankee Stadium? I know what song they would play when M Mo would come out to pitch. The question is, is she faking you both out? I don't. Um, That's the 10 seconds. Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult. That is correct, and apparently she was. Well, Did it work? So all three of you. Getting $5. <laughs> no need for rage. Oh, You're all in the same oh, relative position. Oh, I still position. get the $5? You still do. Oh, yeah. okay. Thanks. It's a watch. Okay. Yeah. See? Yeah. Money Thanks for, for having faith in me. Yes. I'm sorry. God. It's almost like we're a network show. I'm everybody horrible. wins. Rounding out the first half of round three, Dave, your first question. In the great Muppet caper, when Kermit and Fozzie are shipped in crates labeled frog and bear, what is the label on Gonzo's crate? Tim is smiling. <laughs> this is something, perhaps in a subtle so movement hard not to ear. Make a facial expression. Let's hear an answer. Uh, his crate is labeled whatever. That is correct. Whatever. Now, did you guys feel? Yes, you all believed you would get it right. Again, five dollars all around. It's going okay. around. Yeah. A tumultuous third round so far, but continuing on, Tim, your second question. In 2011, pop artist James Hance auctioned a series of illustrations featuring Muppets as Firefly characters. What Firefly character did Hance depict as Miss Piggy? A little bit of expert question crossover there. I like the synergy. Let's see if you like it too. Two seconds left. Do you know it? Kaylee? Unfortunately, the answer is Anara. What did you guys think? Oh, you apparently because swung them with I your last answer. I Nara. Yeah, I would have too, but then I didn't. <laughs> Kaylee is so obviously Janice. <laughs> obviously. Oh, wait, are you allowed to answer wrong on purpose? I, I am, but that doesn't really There's help. no benefit to answering wrong on purpose. Um, but unfortunately, none of you received any dollars there. Right. Uh, Whitney, your second question. What Yankee pitcher went 10-0 in the 2005 season? Chance to take the lead back. Currently trailing. Only a few dollars separates you and Tim. Let's hear it. Mike Messina? Unfortunately, no. The answer is Aaron Small. <laughs> Again? Oh, no. oh. Thought you had Feels it. so much better. Silver lining, they had faith in I you. I know, yeah. they shouldn't have. Okay, and final question of round three. Dave, you also have a chance to take the lead here with a correct answer. In the 2005 TV movie, The Muppets Wizard of Oz, what three Muppets play the Scarecrow, the Tin Thing, and the Cowardly Lion? Well, one of those is obvious. Ideal situation, you answer right, they answer wrong. Right. Let's see if you've reached that ideal. The answer is Kermit was the Scarecrow, uh, Gonzo was the Tin Thing, and Fozzie was the Cowardly Lion. Three for three, that's correct. Were they correct? Oh! oh. All correct. Uh, we currently have Tim, who was able to take the lead. He'd been trailing for the first two rounds. Yeah. Let's see if in the last round, in round four, he can maintain that lead. 